In our previous class, we had seen how to create the temporary tables in Oracle's database that is global temporary tables and private temporary tables. In this class, we are going to learn about the partition table concept. So, how to create the partition within the table. Here, if you look at the example, there is a table provided by Oracle in their documentation. If you observe, this is one of the examples of sales. So, sales for a company, it can increase over the period of time and also the database has to keep the record of all the historical data. Now, the data will grow over the time, but if you want to query for a specific duration or a period or a person or a salesman, then your query will take lot of time because of the humongous data present in the database. Now, what you can do is you can segregate the details available in this table into smaller tables. These are the virtual tables. So, we can create a partition table in Oracle's database. The partition can happen based on the date, based on the duration, based on the salesman's name, salesman's ID, so and so forth things. You can have n number of partitioning criteria over here. And also, you can have a even number of records in all the partitions. Like, you can make use of partitions that is to evenly distribute the records among all 100 tables from a one table. So, like this, we can distribute the load among the partition tables. Now, this is the background behind the partition tables. Partitioning logically splits up a table into smaller tables according to a partition column. So, I will show you how the partition column will look like. So, the rows with the same partition key are stored in the same physical location. Now, there are three most common partitioning techniques or the types available in Oracle's database that is partitioning based on the range, based on the list, based on the hash. Now, in order to create the partition table, you need to consider following three things. That is, we need to choose the correct partition method. That is the range, list or hash. And also the columns based on which we are going to partition. Like I, as I told you, we want to partition the table records based on the salesman ID, sales month, sales duration. Duration means between start and end date. And those things you have to make sure between what columns you are creating the partition for. And what will be the initial partition clause. Now, coming to the first type that is the range, that is the range partitioning. In case of range partitioning, the database maps the rows portions based on the range of values. Now, here if you see, this is the normal create table statement. Now, after that we need to add this clause that is partition by and the range. In case of list, it will be list and in case of hash, it will be hash. Next comes the column. The second point what we told is, we need to be make sure what is the column we are using for this partitioning. So, we will be partitioning based on the time ID. Now, here, whatever sales happened before this 1st of January 1999, they are considered as sales for 1998 year. Now, whatever sales happened before 1st of January 2000, so this will be part of this sales year. Now, whatever data is satisfying, it will be mapped here. So, whatever is from 1st January to 1st January 2000, it will be considered as 1999. So, like this, we can segregate the details of the sale into their respective partitions. So, like this we can distribute the details among their respective partition tables. Suppose if you want to query in future, you can directly provide the partition name. Now, here if you look at the select query what we have to use in order to fetch the details for a particular sales, then we can make use of select star from table name, then the partition clause we need to add, then the partition name. In our case, the partition name is sales 1998, we can provide the partition name over here and then the your query. So, like this, you can improve the performance of your SQL query and you can retrieve the details very quickly from your database and show on the user interface and possibilities are many where you can make use of this data. So, it will not make the end user to wait indefinitely until your query executes and returns the details. So, this is one of the advantages of partitioning. That is to move entire details to their respective partition tables and increase the performance of the query. Now, next comes the list partitioning. In the case of list partitioning, the database uses a list of discrete values. I will tell you what this means as the partition key for each partition. In case of range, we had a range that is before particular date, everything will go to a particular partition like sales happened before 1st of January 2000 will be part of 1999 year. And whatever sale happened before 1st of January 2001 is considered as a sale for 2000. Here we were mentioning the range like a date range or it could be many things like a ID you can give and so on and so forth things we can make use in order to define the range. In case of list, what you have to do is the syntax is same, the create table statement it will look same like a standard create statement. 
for a table then the partition by clause is same next instead of range we are we have to mention here list then obviously the column that is our second point which we need to consider while creating any partition tables now here we mean we are mentioning that we are creating partition based on this channel id now it is of character one now whatever is your partitioning query you have to mention within this round brackets now partition put all the records into even channel partition if the value is 2 comma 4 if the value is 3 comma 9 then put it in odd channel now you can also make use of this concept in order to segregate the vehicles based on their registration number the vehicles whose numbers are ending with odd numbers like 1 3 5 7 so those you can put in the odd registered vehicles in your city and whichever vehicles registration number is ending with 2 4 6 such kind of even numbers then you can put in even registered vehicles for your particular city so suppose if you are having a rule in your city wherein you can run even numbered vehicles on monday wednesday and friday you can just get the details of that particular vehicle from that partition so this will improve the performance of your application wherever you are writing this sql query so that the user doesn't have to wait indefinitely in order to fetch the details for the particular vehicle so this is one of the use cases next comes the hash partitioning in the case of hash partitioning the database what it will do is it will evenly distribute your records into the partitions that you can mention over here how many partitions you want to create suppose if you want to create 100 partitions then the records from your main table that is hash sales will be distributed equally among all the tables based on the particular hash so this hash will be generated based on oracle's hash function so it's not a user's responsibility to write the hash function so oracle will take care on their own end now the syntax for this is partition by hash we have to write and then the product id then the partitions how many partitions you want to create so wherever the oracle finds the space in the database it will put evenly in that particular partition in earlier class we had seen the difference between the heap and the index organized tables now all the partitions are based on the heap organization method now if you want to create the index organized tables then what you can do is you can club the concept what we had learned in our previous class that is we can make use of the combination of this primary key and the organization index then you can write your partition query so we are mixing the things like index organized tables and the partition so how we can achieve this partitioning on the index organized tables for the demo purpose let me run this create table partition based on the range i will make use of our live sql over here and click on run yeah i am getting a message saying table has been created in order to know whether that table has been created as a partition we can run this query which we had seen in our previous class that is the user tables here we are getting the list of all the tables present in our database suppose if your database is having lot of tables then you can put the clause over here that is where and search for the table name whose name is whatever you have mentioned that is tab range sales now here if you see the partition column is marked as s because we have created this as a partition table so similar like this we can create a list as well as hash also the index organized tables in oracle's database 